How's it going everyone? My name is Fish and in this video I'm going to share my experience with Accutane and talk about whether or not it's a cure for acne. Acne is a plague that affects nearly everyone. The worst part about it is that 90% of it is not even your fault. Sure there are small things you can do to slightly reduce it like change your diet or wash your face but at the end of the day if you have bad acne you have bad acne no matter what you do. When it comes to finding the cure Accutane is essentially the number one option for clearing acne. So in this video I'm going to tell my story about having horrific acne and how Accutane helped me get it under control. Let's get into it. Isotretinoin is a drug that's sold under the brand name Accutane and is primarily used to treat severe acne when all other options have been exhausted. In other words, Accutane is the last resort when combating acne if no other treatment has worked. It operates by permanently decreasing the size of your oil glands so that they produce less oil that clog your pores. For me, I did try everything before Accutane and the results I got were mild at best. Nothing is working! I tried all the topical retinoids like tretinoin, oral antibiotics like doxycycline, topical antibiotics like clinomycin, and any over-the-counter treatment you could possibly imagine. I suffer with hormonal acne, which is the hardest type of acne to treat. Because of this, I can't take any supplements that boost my testosterone without having crazy acne breakouts. For example, I can't even take things like ashwagandha or DHEA because it increases my hormone production, which increases my hormonal acne. To give some backstory, I originally started getting acne on my chin when I was in fifth grade. It's kind of funny though, because my my daycare lady would give me her proactive medicine, so I started using acne treatment when I was 10 years old. That's why I use proactive. A few years later, during 8th to 12th grade, my face was a mess. I would have anywhere between 50 to 100 zits on my face at any given time. I wish I had more pictures to show you, but I was too embarrassed to keep any from that time. I even had trouble keeping eye contact with people because every time I would look at someone, I was self-conscious about all the red pus sacks on my face and I would just stare at the ground. I would grow up my hair to be long just so it can cover some of my face and distract from the huge zits that were on it. You can run, but you can't hide. It's easy to say that acne isn't a big deal if you don't have it, but it's truly a curse on anyone who does suffer with it. It's different than something like being overweight because at least with that, you can control it by eating less or working out. But with hormonal acne, you either get it or you don't, and there's almost nothing you can do about it. People with acne are perceived as more filthy and unhygienic than those who don't have it. And that's simply not true. You could be the most cleanliest person in the world, yet still suffer with awful hormonal acne, and people's first impression of you will be that you're a disgusting human being. And that's just the social point of view. If no one is around acne is still annoying because you have all these red pus sacks eroding from your face ready to explode at any minute. Nevertheless, that's enough about why acne sucks. Now I'll tell you about my experience with Accutane. I started Accutane after 14 grueling years of acne with no success at fully eradicating it. Some people suffer with large cysts that leave craters in their face, but my problem was smaller persistent nodules that left ice pick scars. At this point, I have so many ice pick scars that I am the actual scar face. Literally, there's cuts and divots all over my face, all caused by acne. I'll even admit that there were many weeks I didn't shoot any YouTube videos simply because I did not want to show my disgusting acne ridden face and cement it on the internet for everyone to see. He has these horrible acne scars! Anyway, I got fed up with this so I scheduled a doctor appointment with my dermatologist. Once I arrived and explained my situation, she then prescribed me 30 milligrams of isotretinoin once per day. This is a somewhat high dose to start on because typically people begin on 10 to 20 milligrams. Although the average dose of a full cycle is around 20 to 40 milligrams or 0.5 to 1 milligram per kilo kilogram of body weight. The duration of a cycle ranges from four to six months. That being said, my circumstances were a little bit different from the norm when it comes to the dosage and duration of treatment. The first month I was on 30 milligrams and it really helped shrink the size of the pimples. But my main problem was the persistency and the fact that the pimples were still coming back, albeit smaller. There's never a let up, it's relentless. So the next month my dose is raised to 60 milligrams, but the problem continued. So the third month I was prescribed 90 milligrams. Then by the fourth month, I was prescribed 120 milligrams of isotretinoin every day. It was a around this time, I started getting pretty massive side effects, which made me decide to lower my own dose to 80 milligrams per day. I didn't tell the doctor this though, because when insurance covers it, a month's supply of 120 milligrams is the same price as any other dose. So I'd stockpile some, that way I would need less doctor appointments and less prescriptions. That's right. It's a loophole. Oh, and keep in mind that your doctor will require you to get blood work done every two to three months to monitor your cholesterol levels. This is due to the fact that Accutane can mess with your HDL and LDL levels, among other things. Anyway, I continue to take 80 milligrams every day for another five months, resulting in my treatment cycle to be a total of nine months and 21,000 milligrams of isotretinoin. Wow. Oh, that is too much. With all that being said, now it's time to explain the side effects I experienced. Firstly, the most common side effect is having dry lips and dry eyes. If you take Accutane, you must carry 
chapstick and eye drops on you at all times. Otherwise, you'll be very uncomfortable and be wishing you had some. My lips would peel like a snake shedding skin and flakes would regularly fall off. Moreover, this is before I got LASIK surgery, so I had to wear either glasses or contacts. If I wore glasses, I would get tiny little cuts on the corner of my nose where the lenses would rest. And if I wore contacts, my eyes would be even more dry than they already were. And in many instances, it would feel like potato chips resting over my eyeballs. <laughs> To make matters worse, six months in the treatment, I ended up getting an eye ulcer, which was super painful. After booking an appointment with my eye doctor, he diagnosed me with blepharitis, which is inflammation of the eyelids. Basically, Accutane decreases the size of oil glands, which caused my eyes to have less lubrication and be more prone to getting cut, meaning that Accutane was the primary reason I developed an eye ulcer. When in doubt, blame the acne medicine. Luckily, this was only temporary, and my doctor gave me special eye drops to clear up the problem. Nonetheless, it still sucked, and my eyes were super red, and I had to abstain from wearing contacts for while. Another side effect I had is that the inside of my nose was scabbed up 24 7. What? is in your nose. Accutane is known to cause nosebleeds, and although I didn't experience much of that, my nose was still bloody on the inside and had scabs all up and down my septum. Yeah. Your nose is bleeding, is it? It seemed like I had more scabs and mucus anytime I blew my nose. A more mild side effect I experienced was that the skin on the back of my fingernails would often be peeled back way more than normal. I would have continued Accutane for longer, but the worst side effect I experienced was acute gastritis. It seems like this problem in particular is not really talked about in the Accutane community, but I can confidently say that Accutane caused me to have gastritis. Arthritis. What Accutane essentially does is dries out your entire body. Your eyes, your lips, your nose, your hair, everything is dried out. And for me, it felt like it was drying up my insides and my organs. Deep hurt inside of me. It felt like it destroyed my stomach lining and gave me stabbing pains in my stomach. What gastritis is, is the inflammation of your stomach lining. So it can be very uncomfortable. I had to stop drinking coffee and alcohol for a while because anything acidic would give me a tummy ache. And I never had this problem until I started taking Accutane. In the end, gastritis is what made me stop taking Accutane because I just couldn't take the side effects anymore. I can't take it anymore. Don't get me wrong, Accutane did an amazing job at fighting my acne that nothing else could treat. But the side effects, like gastritis, was what made me cut the course short. And I still have gastritis for several months after stopping Accutane. But I treated it with different supplements like glutamine and turmeric and I was at least able to get it back to somewhat normal. I don't have daily flare-ups anymore, but I can't excessively consume acidic things like I used to. Quite honestly, my stomach lining has never been the same since. Makes me like sick to my stomach. When I stopped taking it, my acne was basically all cleared up. After a few months post-op, a little bit did come back, but the majority of my acne problems were cured. These days, I would say that my acne is about 85% gone. I do get occasional cystic spots, but I can usually treat it with oral antibiotics, which is shown to be decently effective. And I still use topical tretinoin each morning to keep everything under control. I guess the main question is, do I regret taking Accutane? And the answer is, no, I do not regret taking Accutane. I regret nothing. The end. For over a decade, I tried everything in the book to cure my acne, and in the end, Accutane did just that. If you are like me and suffer with horrific acne and scarring, and you can't find any solution that will fix it, Accutane will give you real results. It really comes down to how much you value fixing your acne and if you're willing to experience the side effects. I will say that most people on normal doses will only experience mild side effects, but nonetheless, there's still side effects and things that you have to deal with. I personally had to deal with major side effects, and even then, I would still say isotretinoin was worth it. But I dreaded my acne, and I wanted to do anything in my power to fix it. Yes, there are other ways to treat acne with less side effects, but nothing permanently fixes the problem like Accutane does. Interestingly enough, isotretinoin is a derivative of vitamin A, which is why you cannot take both together or you will experience serious side effects. However, if you are taking Accutane, it doesn't hurt to take vitamin A or other retinoids, which control sebum production and regulate skin cells. Watch this video next on everything you know about vitamin A and why it's important for immune function and skin growth. Vitamin A enhances the immune system and promotes youthful, vibrant skin, among many other benefits. My name is Fish, and I stay low key. Peace out.